What? I think it's the culmination of what's been happening. This, like it's, this was the finale. You know, you don't play hard. You don't compete. You don't execute. You don't defend. We you don't go after loose balls. You don't set screens. You don't run on the break. You don't run back. It's, it's the same old story. But, you know, we're playing against a quality team that uh, is on a mission. And if you're going to play soft and don't execute and don't play hard, you're going to get embarrassed. And uh, we got embarrassed. You know, I got to do a better job. I mean, you know, you can't stop trying to coach, but we've got to somehow, some way, um, figure out what's important. And it starts with playing hard and playing unselfishly and competing at a high level. And all, all the other stuff will probably take care of itself. But, you know, you, you beg people to play hard and do the right thing, that's, that's not what's coaching. You know, you don't coach effort, you coach execution and we, you know, but it starts with me. I gotta, you know, I gotta do a much better job. I don't. I guess, you know, this this shows that maybe we're not listening. Maybe I gotta figure out a better way to get my point across. Coach, what do you tell the guys moving forward to Toronto? Pardon me. What do you tell the guys moving forward, looking looking at Toronto? I didn't say anything. Michael had a lot to say. Um, he asked me if he could say something, and I, you know, I talked to him early in the day. Um, and we, you know, he kind of gave me some input on what he thought, what he sees, went much different than what I've, I've been seeing. Um, and he wanted to wait till Monday to talk. Asked me if it would be all right, and I, you know, I said fine. You know, but after the game. You know, he asked me if it'd be all right. So I didn't even, we didn't, why would we address Toronto? We got to address what happened this game and 22 other games, because nothing's changed. You know, we've been the same team for 23 games. We have not come back and got over the hump in a game we needed to. We haven't gotten a key stop in a game, we haven't gotten a loose ball, we haven't gotten a big rebound, we haven't made a big shot. But it shouldn't go back, go down to them, it should be the first possession. You know, you gotta look out there and feel like, hey, everybody's got each other's back and is competing. And whatever deficiencies you might have, you can overcome it if you play with effort and be responsible and, you know, make your teammate better, and we're not doing that. And uh, what I heard Michael say is basically what we've been talking about, but obviously when he said something, you know, we all should listen. Can you summarize what Michael said? What you heard me say, I don't think our values are any different. You know, he recognizes, but, but again, you know, that's, what he says, we're not doing. That's that's my responsibility, and you know I'm to the point now. I'm gonna play the guys that do it because the results will probably be the same. You know, but if if, if I got to start playing the guys that'll do what we ask, you know, I know I know that he told me today he'd rather have 15 guys playing hard than caring about you know all stars. Or, guys that think they're all stars and I I think that's what the game's really about you know that's why Boston's won because those great players you know sacrifice all the individual stuff for the benefit of that team and every one of the kids that come in the game you can see they play the same way that the Paul Pierce Ray Allen Kevin Garnett play, play the same way, same urgency, same energy, same execution, you know, but I don't, I don't,
don't know of one example on our team that is playing like that. Maybe Boris, but you know, I don't I don't see anybody, you know, setting an example and you know, doing all the things that all the good teams do and that's again that's gotta be my challenge. Do you foresee a roster shakeup? No. I don't know what I don't, that's that's not it's not for me to say. No, but I don't worry about guys that may come in here. No, I think we gotta worry about making the guys that are here better and accountable. Um, but when you lose, it's so easy to start pointing fingers and blaming. It's, it's collectively where we're struggling. But it starts with each guy stepping up. You, know, you ask them to run on the break, to defend, to rebound, and go after loose balls, that has nothing to do with ability. Larry, why did Nazi start the second half? He had three fouls, you know, and uh, then after got kind of out of hand. And I, you know, Kwame was struggling. I didn't want to take him out when he was struggling. Everybody would say he was the reason we were getting beat. He wasn't the reason we were getting beat. You know, Michael pointed out they're throwing him balls where he's not even in supposed to be catching them. We're throwing guys the ball on the wing 40 feet from the goal. We get, they can't make a play. Got, it's, it's know your personnel. And, but, it, but again, all that being said, we're not playing hard enough. We ain't competing hard enough. And uh, we're not playing as a group. And that's, you got to look at me. I got I to gotta correct that. Are you... I may be asking the obvious, but are are you stunned by that? Um, some things I'm surprised, but and I don't see any grit, and that that really surprises me. You know, again, I I mean, I've I've had struggles taking over teams that you had to change the culture. But this reminded me of the first year. You know, I, I, I think one of the first games I coached when this building was full, we played Cleveland. It was saying, you know, you know, I know that I look at the talent level, some teams, you're gonna you're gonna say, Wow, well, who chose those sides? But th that's not what Michael's talking about, you know, what I'm talking about. Whatever whoever we have, we have. And to say it's DJ's problem, you know, that that's not gonna get anything accomplished. It's the only only way if you have maybe some deficiencies is you play harder. You compete harder, you execute better, you you demand more of yourselves and then everybody will kind of fall in place and that's 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 what has surprised me because we play harder in practice. And our second team picks our first team in practice, so what does that tell you? It tells me you might be thinking about changing your rotation. No, I mean, it just tells you what we're accomplishing in practice. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody looks around and says, ooh, that kid's pretty good, he should be playing. And then I'm looking around, who's guarding him? <laughs> so, but, but again, you know, this is, what, eight and 15? We got a game against Toronto. We got practice on Monday. And uh, we got to start making the climb on Monday, on, you know, in practice.